with the wonderful Google Glass, which can mean only one thing. It is the inevitable Google Glass session, which we're looking forward to. I've no idea what's going to happen. It's very unplanned. There won't be anyone sky jumping or anything like that. But um, let's just get on with it. So if I could bring out uh, Loic and Chief uh, Evangelist for Rackspace, Robert Scoble. Please welcome him on stage. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. Um, so you have your shirt? I'm, I'm wearing my shirt, Loic. Because uh, you, you generally are in the shower, right? When you do <laughs> Google Glass. Oh. 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 I, I personally think that you're probably really bad PR for Google. And this isn't going to work. So no? we'll just leave that aside. No, no, it does. It doesn't work. We'll work this out. What we're trying to do, just to explain, is with the Google Glass, there is the opportunity within the app on the phone to actually show what we're seeing on our eyes. And so we'd like to see if we can show that to you. So the guys are just setting that up and see whether it's possible to get that to connect. It looks like there's a syncing. Just keep, just, just keep, just keep padding, as we say. Yes, I get it. So um, for those of you because who are here who have not seen Google Glass, how many people here have had a look at Google Glass, have worn it? Put your hand up. That's interesting. That's actually more than I thought, given that it's not officially available here. What do people think in general that have tried it? You're, you're, you're a fan? You think it's good? Yeah? I'm getting thumbs up. I, what, uh, what was that? So. Kick ass, there you go. Or kick ass. I've got to do it in a British accent, you see. Kick ass. No, it's, it's, for me, it's a really interesting um, uh, project. I'm definitely enjoying the experience so far. I think the opportunity to try the technology, but also look at some of the social, business, privacy aspects of the device and being given the opportunity to witness that and think about that as an entrepreneur is very... Um, very interesting and uh, a great opportunity. I don't know what you guys think. It, it's not working, so let's it's get not working. the conversation. It's not working? That's okay. We're, we'll explain what, we're, yeah, what, what we've conceived. Do you, do you want to start off by explaining what it is that you're seeing when you use the Google Glass, yeah, most for those of the, that don't know? Most of the time, I don't see anything. Like right now, it's not showing anything. So I'm looking at you, and I don't see anything in my screen, and you don't see anything. But I, if I touch it, it turns on. And then I can say, OK, Glass, take a picture. And it does. It's really pretty cool. Um, I can, I can uh, also say, uh, OK, Glass, get directions. Big Ben, London. And it puts a map in my eye and takes me there. Uh, I can send a message. I can make a phone call. I can receive uh, text, tweets, Facebook, uh, Path, um, Tumblr. Uh, the New York Times comes here. Um, and so on and so forth. It's pretty simple. The, the really neat thing here isn't necessarily the photo, it's the uh, assistive technology. In fact, the code name for this pro project was Wingman because Google wants to be, be an assistant to your life. And it shows on one side of the UI. So the UI is a strip of cards. And in the middle, it's a card that says, OK, Glass, and you can talk to it. On the left side is a strip of uh, Google Now cards. So I see airline tickets. Like when I go to the airport tomorrow, it'll show me the gate of my airline. It'll show me if the plane's on time. Um, and here, you're, I think you're starting to get it to work. Good. It shows me uh, my sports scores, my stocks, my uh, weather. Uh, it shows me if I'm going to a meeting in the next hour. It shows me uh, the traffic between me and the meeting. It, it, it tries to assist my life and get ahead of me and think about things that I need to see right, right then. And that's pretty cool. And on the other side of the interface, I see tweets come in, photos from Path, uh, Tumblr messages, emails, um, texts that come in, so on and so forth. So, so here we're. Uh, if we can get uh, Loic's phone on the uh, on the on the screen, yeah. uh, I think okay, it's going to work. Take a picture. Yeah, and okay. that's what we're seeing so in the glass. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, exactly. Now, some things to be aware okay, of. Glass, tell Cobble to shut up, please. No, that doesn't work. That's not going to work. I don't yeah. think anything can do that. <laughs> By the way, you can whisper to this. It's really pretty sensitive. Oh, so do you let, me, let me demonstrate the whispering. OK, class, take a picture. 
It's talking to me, to my ears. And it works. It's amazing, this technology. But the, the voice problem is you're controlling my glass right now. Yeah, well, you, you, you know. You <laughs> so you see what I mean? You're whispering through your glass, and it's controlling to my, my glass. So you wanted to show the uh, uh, turn by turn, right? Yeah. OK, glass. <laughs> OK, glass. Uh, get directions to Big Ben. That's thinking. There you go. It'll think a little bit. Oh, oh uh, no, it's just because I said walking. Yeah. Drive. There we go. Look at that. All right. And turn your head. See, yeah. does it show if you turn your head? Does See, if, you turn, if I turn my head, it this turns is the map. so cool. Oh, there we go. We got it on. So the sensors, there's a lot of sensors in here. There's an eye sensor to watch your eye, and it, that has not been utilized yet, but a friend of mine so hacked it. if I look it. on the right, it will also turn, right? Yeah. Yep. And uh, so there's an eye sensor that's watching your eye 24 hours a day. Uh, one of my friends wrote some code that I can wink to it and take a picture. Uh, we assume that they're going to do eye tracking. In fact, they just got a patent uh, for, for eye tracking and doing things with your eye. Um, I can show the route, as you can see. And this is really clear. I walked yesterday from uh, um, someplace in London to here. Yeah. And I was like turning my head. It's, it's really, really nice. The turn by turn is uh, I love uh, having it when I drive. Yeah. And it's less distracting than a smartphone just because you don't do this or you don't do that. or You just have it on your head. And pilots do this. We've had a display for, for, for years already. Yeah. So that's so th cool. So it, you, there's sensors here that know where you're looking, that you're looking up to turn it on. Uh, there's an eye sensor that's working 24 hours a day uh, to watch whether I'm winking or looking at it in a certain way. Uh, there's going to be a lot of features that are going to get unlocked. A lot of these features aren't, are, are not yet exposed to developers and are not really articulated here, uh, but they're coming, and, and we, we can start seeing Send that in some of the APIs. Send a message to Bastien Vidal. All right. Here we go. Hey, Bastien. How are you doing today? <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is my, my French. Yeah. Um, how do you say good morning in French? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't you, do you that. Yeah. It does do that. Oh, Can you it? shut up for a second? <laughs> Look. Oh, no, it's yeah. gone. It's off. Yeah, it crashed. The app crashed? I, I think yeah. the interesting thing is Google have been very clear that it, it is. Works a, it works perfect. An ex well, but it is also an experimental. Oh, project. That's, my whole phone is crushed. Yeah. And <laughs> that's why they're not yet available to everyone. But there is definitely, oh, even through the, 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 the kinks and the, the uh, issues that you have, there's still lots of opportunity. And you can definitely see where this is going. So, so now that we've been worried, I've been worrying for five, five weeks, and I've heard a common set of questions over and over and over again. How do uh, you say good morning in French? Well, you should know. <laughs> Look at that. Bonjour. And I can hear it here as a speaker. And that's really interesting because it's not a speaker. It's actually in the back of these is um, a really interesting piece of uh, a device that actually vibrates the back of your uh, uh, ear. And in your middle ear somewhere, you actually hear the sound, which means that the people around you don't hear what you're hearing. There's nothing actually in your ear. And yet you can actually hear it speak to you, so, dictate back to you. And just to give you some, uh, some more like demo, if you allow me. So this is. These are, so it's very, you said that, uh, it's very Google-centric in terms of, by default, every picture I take will go to Google Plus yep. in private. And then here you can see, I posted that, there are nine, 29 comments and, uh, to, I'm sorry, two comments and 29 pluses, and I can read those comments here. See? Um, I can swipe through them. So the pics taken with camera look really great. And then I can comment myself. Yeah, that's awesome. See? I just commented on Google+. Plus. Your American accent's really coming along. Um, <laughs> you are so <laughs> nice. And uh, here's a tweet from Francine. So that just arrived right now. Like, she posted this like a few seconds ago. It She's in the front this. row up here. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, so look, look, at, look at this. Last OK, time. Glass, <laughs> reply. <laughs> OK, that didn't work. OK, Glass. Reply. <laughs> ah, shit. All right. <laughs> hey, Francine, that's awesome. You're really getting this awesome word. Yeah, yeah. I, I know it gets awesome, so. 
can, can we have the picture that I shot so, but, yesterday, last night? Because I want to explain some so of the things. So this is a little web tweet, and I'm going to retweet it. All right. Right now, boom, retweet it. I'm always really scared when we pr uh, project things from the back channel onto the screen behind me. Okay. Well, the thing is, you get your email in there, you get a lot of stuff. See, that's another picture. So now if I, if I post a picture of uh, that guy here, see, now I took it, I can... <laughs> that's a great picture. <laughs> I can share it. So just that you see what we see, I can share it here to Google+, Plus, to Facebook, to Twitter, to Path. Yeah. which is cool, and then to contacts, right? Yeah. So this is, this is actually the uh, head of product of Glass, which I'm sending a lot of uh, comments to Steve. Hey, Steve, <laughs> I'm sure you're going to see this. So here I, I can share it and see how cool it is, how fast it is. This yeah. picture is, can, this awesome picture of Scoble is already on Facebook. Now, a lot of stuff is happening up on the cloud. Can I get the picture that I shot last night up on the screen, the animated, animated GIF? Sabine, can we get that uh, picture on the screen that Scoble wanted to show, please? Um, so when you upload stuff, it can be improved on the cloud as well, and that stuff can happen on the cloud. And you see here, I shot a series of pictures last night of Loic and Jeremiah and John Battelle, and because I shot a series all together and uploaded those, it turned it automatically into an automated GIF and made the color better and made the uh, sharpness better automatically without doing anything. I think this is a major uh, trend that we're going to see in Google, not just in Glass, but across its product line, that it wants to do things automatically without having you to do manual editing or manual settings. Because most people don't know how to do this with an animated GIF editor, or right. don't know how to uh, make the photo look better, because they don't know Photoshop or how, how to make a photo look better the way we all do, right? And this is really, really pretty cool stuff. For, for me, what was really cool, that picture is awesome, uh, Scoble. <laughs> uh, for me, what really made me like it is the tweets. So you can uh, select a number of <laughs> <laughs> you can select a number of tweets. Can you do a, like something really crazy? I can't stay like that for too yeah. long. Um, <laughs> so what's really I'm nice? I'm really going to regret that as well. Yeah, and I'm going to share it. Okay, let's uh, let's let's tweet it. Really there bad. We go. Um, so, and I can add a caption. Uh, if I tap, I could have. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Twitter is really nice because you get uh, to select which uh, users you want notifications from, and uh, and you get alerts for them. So you get a little beep. And what I like is I'm walking and I, I will check tweets. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, I do that. Yeah. And so I I, don't, I have another screen, so I don't have to multitask and check the tweets. I get all the atloic replies and so on. I really like the tweets. That that may be uh, very nice for me and the emails as well. Now so, let's talk about the social aspects. Yeah, I get a lot of common questions when I when I show these people. One, when I go through passport uh, controls, they always ask, "Are you recording me?" You're going through passport control? Absolutely. I don't take it off. You think I'm kidding when I say I don't take it off. I go through passport control. I went Did through you go TSA. Through the, the yeah, they don't make me take it off. The difference is that back in the States, we're not citizens, so we probably don't want to do that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, there's a way you can tell if this is recording. The light is on. I'm touching it. I'm talking to it. And you can see the light is on if I'm recording. In fact, let, let me record a video here. There we go. Now I'm recording a video on stage at Le Web 2013 on my Google Glass. And you see it in the eye. And, and when I come up to you, you see it. You also notice that I'm not looking through the glass. Um, my eye is looking at, at people uh, without looking through the glass. So if I'm actually paying attention um, to the glass and not to you, you know that. Because my eye is looking up here. You see the thing on. And, yeah, you see the thing on oh, in the wait, screen. Wait, this is getting meta here. Look at me. Yeah, this is getting a little bit in uh, intimate for my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so people know that you're being re that you're recording them or taking a picture of them. Plus, it's a very wide-angle camera. It's actually wider than uh, the, s the camera on your cell phone. It's also a five-megapixel camera. This is a 13-megapixel camera. So if I really want a sharp picture, I'll use my uh, cell phone or I'll use my Canon 5D. Uh, this is not a great way to spy on you in, in a bathroom or whatnot. And that's another common question is, um, you know, can, can I use this in the bathroom to take some creepy picture that I couldn't do with this? No, actually, I could take a picture 
you know, in a lot of situations, and you would never notice this in, in my hand, but you will absolutely know that I'm taking a picture of you, uh, you know, because I have to do something like that, or I have to say, okay, Glass, take a picture, and that really would freak you out if I was doing that in a bathroom. Yes. I never By the way, in the bathroom, I usually, I, put, I, I usually put it up here, so you know me, that I'm not... Robert, you, you actually regret that bathroom picture, right? No. My, my, my wife thinks that's the most funny thing she's ever done. <laughs> I was on the top of BuzzFeed for a day. Come on. Well, I beat all the cats. You're an attention whore. That's absolutely. <laughs> or as uh, Paxman said on uh, the BBC the other night, I'm a I'm an, uh, social narcissist or but something you, like but that. But do you actually think that it improves your image in general? To do well, it certainly of... gets me uh, lots of conversations in the streets. People come up, to, even at dinner last night, people came up and said, is that the Google Glass? I want to try no, it. No, it's for the Google Glass, but do they ask you, you look great in your shower? It's both. This is the most emotional, well, no. That, uh, Larry Page uh, at Google I.O. said he didn't appreciate the picture of me in the shower. Can you take your shirt off? So we... No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to uh, leave the stage. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> Um, but there is a social cost to this thing, right? Uh, ben and, and Loic, have you had comments from people that are like, that's dorky looking or that's well, weird looking? Absolutely. I mean, I've been to formal meetings and people have asked me, uh, at, at, well, at the very least, they've, they've inferred that they're a little uncomfortable with it. People are not clear whether something's being recorded, whether or not um, there's something else that I'm looking at in my screen that therefore I'm not paying attention to them. There's a social contract when you're in a meeting with someone that you're paying attention and you're engaged. Let's I get some questions. Can we have questions? Do we can have, we have questions? Yeah, here. Uh, uh, see somebody, Jeremiah, some I think, questions? is where we have a mic, yeah, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, yeah. yeah. Sorry to Jeremiah has nice. a pair, by the way, and he's so scared of wearing them, he won't even wear them in public, you know? No, that's not true. I, I didn't wear it on stage. <laughs> Because I think it's disrespectful to the audience, and I uh, wanted to get everybody. Well, not a, not in a talk about Google Glass. I think, I think that's totally appropriate. <laughs> so here's here's the questions I have for you guys. Two questions. Uh, the first one is, does this make you more or less human? And two, how does this change your reproduction as humans? <laughs> um, well, these guys were about to get intimate you, so, a minute ago. So. Uh, still I'm not going to comment on my sex life, but it's been pretty good lately. There is an app. <laughs> yeah, Thank yeah, you, Miriam. Yesterday, there is, a, there is an app, Tits and Glass, that was launched, right? Yeah, but it got banned by Google. Yeah, so Google I installed no. it, and unfortunately, it was banned yeah. very fast. Yeah. Um, what was the first question? You, you want to know? Does it make us more or less human? More or less human. It makes me more social. Because if I, I hear my phone buzz, I have to pull it out and look at it, and now I'm totally distracted, and I'm in a rat hole here because I have Facebook and Flipboard and Twitter and Tumblr, and I, I can be here for an hour. This is hard to do that kind of long-term thing, and it's just look at it, turn it off, look at it, turn it off. So I, I use it for phone calls at, on dates because I, if the babysitter's trying to get a hold of me, I want to see that. And if it's somebody else that I don't care about, I just swipe down Don't and turn it off. Don't pay any attention to Scobble. <laughs> so <laughs> I find people, after they get over the, the fashion cost or the freaky factor of looking at this thing on my head, that they actually find that I pay more attention to them with this thing on than with it up, not on, you know, because I would always be on my phone looking at my phone because it vibrates all the time. Um, but it's a different product. It is the most controversial product of my lifetime. Uh, I, you know, you, we've never seen that much attention on the product since the no. iPhone, right? It's Even the Apple, II, the Apple II, all the products, all the new products in my lifetime have always been controversial. The Apple Why II, did you remove it, by the way? Because, uh, you know, I, I want to make sure you know that I'm not recording you at the time. Oh. Um, and it sort of is disrespectful, the, and it sort of does block You know, eye. one thing, I, so I've, 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 I've uh, had it for, I tried like three or four days nonstop. I mean when I was awake, <laughs> pretty much. And I found myself um, seeing tweets I would have never seen. Yep. I found myself re replying to tweets I would have never replied or retweeting them. And uh, that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, and after a few days, you totally get used to it. And when you remove it, you miss that screen. Yeah, I I'm totally checking. miss that screen. Uh, but in social context, I tried to go in a restaurant. And you know, you, you're having dinner with someone that's just doesn't feel nice. It's big and you have a camera point. So the social aspect is what Google needs to... I guess it's, it's too big, but I think it's just awesome that they're doing this. Yeah. Like, no one else is trying that. 
Do I'm sorry. Time you know, a, uh, Steve Wozniak told me when he started, uh, back when he started Apple, that he really didn't want to start a company. He wanted to, go, uh, to work for HP and build personal computers for HP. Back then, it was a controversial thing to build a personal computer and go start a new company. His bosses told him nobody would ever buy a personal computer. Now Let's everybody do a quick in this poll. How, how many of you think in five years, 10, five to 10, we'll, we'll, a majority of us will wear this thing on our heads? Yeah, 70% of a room. We didn't even ask the price. Yeah, and you know, yeah. At 500, I, I did this with an audience at another conference. $500, a few hands went up. At $300, most of the hands went up. And at $200, almost all the hands went up. Do we have other questions? Yeah. Euro, what's up? Yeah. You can take, uh, do you uh, want, oh, Francis, Francis call it. <laughs> I'm first. I want to know what this is going to do to, I'm looking at the three of you wearing glass and I totally see it and I see the fact that it would be rather unobtrusive and it would really catch on. So then what will that do to all the people who are beginning to make smart watches and other wearable form factors? Like I have the basis watch on that m measures my heart rate. Like I have the pebble watch on, but yeah. none of them will do what glass will do and they'll all make you look down. Yep. And I think the best point you make is that this allows you to keep looking up. This dramatically changes my relationship with the internet and and the system that you all are building, right? It teaches me that I can talk to it, take me somewhere. I want to talk to it more and more. In fact, there's a new, new software somebody just showed me and put on my phone, Sherpa, that you can talk to and ask it things like translate to German to, to English, and it just talks back. Uh, take me to the closest Starbucks. It does it. It's crazy how good it is, and it's on Android only. And because Apple is so closed, this is a real threat to Apple, I think. This is a real threat to everybody else in the business because you are locked into the Google ecosystem. And let's talk about Google. This is switching Google's business model. Not really. I'm Facebooking. I'm tweeting. Yeah, you know, but your main interface is Google. Your, your, your main well, behavior my, is my Google. My life is on Gmail already. And it's going to be more That's on true. Google world. But Google is an advertising business model today. They show you ads to get you to do, click on them and, and collect a dollar. I would hate ads. At least. There is no ads in here. And they said they are not going to allow that kind of traditional advertising here. But what it is going to do is shift the business model from a advertising model to a commerce model. I want to ask it, hey, let's take the four of us out to dinner at, some, some, at the steak place down the street. And I want it to automatically get us a table, like Open Table does on our cell phone. But I want it just to talk to it and have that happen. And if, if Google can make that happen, that's many times more revenue than their advertising business model. Any other questions? We're kind of out of time, but... Um... One more down there. How do you see Google Glass integrate into games and enhancing gaming experience? Want to take that? Yeah, I think that's really interesting. I mean, augmented reality, the fact that this camera that we're looking at, that is looking at our eye right now, people are looking at winking. But the fact that that may actually be able to track my eye and where my eye moves, and then what I actually see in my display, I think leads to all sorts of interesting gaming things. Obviously, the fact that there's a GPS, the way that I physically move around the space, um, be it inside a building or outside in, in the uh, wider world, I think is opening up all sorts of games. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not a gamer, so I'm not the best person to ask, but I can already see that this is an additional social interface as well. Um, that, that overlaps onto a real, uh, real world. And I think that does offer some exciting opportunities. And I think for business apps, it's going to be incredible. Like right, think yeah. of a doctor who gets context on yeah. you know, patients and all the history, well, or pilots getting uh, checklists. And surgeons. Or, 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 or uh, speaking, right? Surgeons. At a conference, you get your next slide. Uh, but surgeons, if surgeons touch their phone, it's $1,500 because they have to rescrub their hands because they touched a right, non-sterile really. object. So if they can just talk to this and say, pull up my x-ray or whatever and, and dive through it without touching it, that saves money in the operating room. And we're going to see lots of those vertical market kinds of things. Uh, for games, though, watch what Google's doing with Ingress. Ingress is a location-based game on your smartphone right now that you walk around and play as you walk around. It helps you get exercise and see the world. It's sort of what, like geocaching. What do you guys think about that? Well, first of all, you can set that to be shallower yeah. so it comes well, on. Well, then it activates days. all the time. Yeah. You, you guys know, right? To activate it, you do like me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the, No one would at all recognize that you're doing this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that, though. But, I, I, but you can turn it on by t touching it like that, right? Yeah, but I'm starting That's how to, I I'm, I'm actually starting to get used to it, but people look at you like you. 
Anyway. Any other question? I think we should. Yeah, uh, you already had a question. Maybe yeah. someone else, right? You uh, pick, you pick Scobble. Hey. And then we'll take two. Oh, more. you didn't ask. I, I didn't I'm ask. Sorry. Francine yeah. stole the mic. Yeah, she usurped it from me. <laughs> well, I just had two quick questions, if I could. The first question uh, some people have been writing about is the issue of symmetry or lack of symmetry, yep. and that being an aesthetic issue, because the idea is that um, asymmetrical looks like this normally are associated with the bad guy. and. Symmetry would make you look like one of the good guys. So I was just wondering what you thought about that. Um, I, uh, uh, there's another company called Recon Instruments that's making a sunglass that has two uh, two pieces to it, so it's it is symmetry. Uh, it's heavier. It's a little bit heavier, and it's a little bit more costly. And the, Google is clearly aiming at a low cost for this and a low weight. So I, I think that's why they didn't put a second battery and make the battery longer, you know, because they could have done that. But I think they really have a weight target that they're trying to stay under. And putting a second piece over on the left side would really uh, mess with the weight. This thing is really lightweight. And after wearing it a, a day, I, I forget it's on a lot of times. It just disappears into my glasses. Um, so. But do you feel it looks much better? With the symmetry? The symmetry does look a little bit better. There is a fashion cost to this, but I, I think the utility is just fine with one, one less, and I'd rather have the lightweight and the uh, low cost than have higher costs and, and more weight on my face. I'm okay. absolutely more than happy to look like the Kudus of Borg. I think that's great. <laughs> I but you like a so you, red laser. You're willing to walk around with purple hair and weird shoes and stuff like that. Yeah, so. right. That doesn't, you know, it's marginal too. You guys are just jealous. <laughs> totally so jealous. you're used to the fashion cost, right? right? <laughs> Let's take a last one and we need to move on with yeah, five minutes late already. Right back here. Hello, thank you. Um, do you think Google should be concerned that so much of the initial feedback for Glass will be coming from a relatively narrow group of people demographically, kind of Western? tech savvy build. Do they need to get it out into more people's hands to understand how they're using it? I've or? shown it to more than 600 people from all walks of life. I've shown it to school teachers, janitors, um, bus drivers, my taxi drivers always ask about it and always want to try it out. You know, so I think they're getting feedback from other people. This will be a product that is affordable by a lot of people and will they'll continue getting the, the more well, and more feedback. I'm amazed like 80% of a room said, yeah, in five years we'll all have that. But I, incredible. I think your point is, is valid. As a product de developer, I'm always thinking about how people are using this. Google has said that it's 18 months at least till this is actually going to be in the hands of consumers. We're like, I think I was one of the first 50 people to get this. This is a, a gradual rollout. Um, a friend of mine who's sitting a, a, a couple of um, rows back from you is, is getting it as part of the wider Explorer program. So we're definitely going to see more and more people from a wider background of people using this, trying it out, and getting feedback before it goes to consumers. I think that's one of the things about this opportunity is this is not just an egotistical look what we've got, but it's actually about showing everyone what this can do, get people's brains thinking, and actually all of us collectively thinking both the positives and also to some extent the social and business and building impact, apps. I mean, and building apps. That's why, that's why my company paid for it, because at Rackspace, we want developers to work with us to build apps for this thing. This is going to need new databases, new APIs, new ways of thinking about cloud computing, new ways of interconnecting. And that's just the beginning with, because there is this tattoo as well, which you can wear, right? So it's the beginning the, of wearables. The basis watch. But the, the watch is a watch, right? The tattoos, like flexible tattoos, we've chipped in them. At All Things D like last week, they also had a demo of a peel you take, which yeah. has a chip in it. So you just swallow a chip, whatever yeah. that does to you. But. Yeah. Uh, it's I pretty scary gonna, stuff. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to swallow a chip anytime chips, soon. I know, I know the people are building the, the pill. Take the blue pill. Chips or? are sand. It's silicon. It's sand. It goes right through your body. So no problem. Can you give us more details? It's sand. It's a grain of sand. If you ate a grain of sand, it goes right through Can your you body. Can you fire us from the stage? Uh, yeah. ben, Can I eject you? We yeah. are massively o o over time. You can talk so to Scoball. He loves chocolate. Yeah, we'll be around. <laughs> Please Thank reply you. to, your, to his email as you try. It's kind of fun. It's very intimate. <laughs> and I, I can have you try mine if you like to. OK. Well, let's thank these guys for thank giving us demo. Much.